All right, so what I'm going to do in this video is uh, I bought this $30 piece of aluminum. It's two inches wide, an eighth inch thick, eight feet long, 30 bucks. What I'm going to do is cut it into two inch squares and make a cube out of it. I just thought it would be a fun little project and some good practice because I recently got this maybe a couple weeks ago and all the aluminum experience I have is right here in front of me. A 16 gauge pipe, done about four, uh, four welds on it. This is the total of all my welding aluminum experience. It's not very much. A lot of people act like this is some mysterious, exotic, weird, strange metal, supernatural metal. It's really not. It's actually harder to weld than steel, but it's not that much harder. I'm, I know I'm really not that good at it yet, but by the end of my first day, I was already welding an outside corner like that. Not the best, but whatever. All right, so let's get started. I know this is not the best way to mark something, but I'm going to cut the first one and then start using this piece sideways to make the rest of my cuts. You'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. All right, let's just go ahead and put her in the saw real quick. Okay, that was the cut. So let's see how perfect it is. It's probably off by a 30 second, but that's fine. So now to get the so now to get the the a little bit better measurements or cuts. I'm going to put it on here sideways like this. Draw my line and remember to set the saw blade to take off the whole line. And now repeat as necessary until you get six pieces because a cube has six sides to it, not four. All right, so now I got all my pieces cut, all six of them. But take a file. Take all the burrs off of it, off of them. To be honest, I have no idea how to hold them in place to get this done. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Piece of angle iron. Piece of angle iron and two clamps. To prep the, these for welding, I'm just going to take a wire brush and brush off all the corners. Basically, brush the whole thing pretty much. And I'm going to do the edges. I'm going to use a 332nd seriated tungsten for this project right here. I got to get that off though. Okay, so I got them all clamped in place. I got them clamped in place corner to corner, clean with acetone and all that. I set my machine to 125 amps. I'm using a 16th filler. I'm just going to put two tacks on it real quick. That's what happens when you don't open your bottle. The gas bottle, the, the regulator has been reading 1500, and when I closed the bottle, it stayed there, so I thought it was on. I didn't have any gas. That's what it looks like. It has white powder all over it. Yeah, pretty bad. Okay, I'm going to fix this plate back up. All right, the same joint. I got it cleaned up. You can barely tell what I just did earlier. All right, so let's do it right this time. All right, I got my first two tacks. So I'm gonna make one more of these. Okay, now that I got the other side made, I got it clamped in my little fixture thing. It's time to go ahead and put two more tacks on it. There goes the last side. It shouldn't be too hard to make that weld. It's Pretty much lined up. Pretty flat. He 
you see, this is why it's good to weld every day. Because it took me all this tax just to learn how to do it right. I finally got a nice shiny one. Other ones had stuff like that. And it's kind of like I had to get warmed up. That's actually going to work. It's a tiny bit out of square. But that's good enough. Okay, so I want to say the hardest part is actually done. Using something to get all this square. The lids are just going to go right on. So, instead of boring you with more tacking, I'm just going to lay this on here, put two tacks on, put a few tacks around there. Then I'm going to go ahead and try to catch some uh, arc shots of me welding this. Alright, before I actually start welding the whole thing, I drilled a hole in it so it doesn't build up pressure and blow my welds out. And there it is. My tacks. Ugly. Some of it's a little bit crooked, but whatever, this is practice. This is how you build your skills. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to try to do some arc shots real quick. Alright, so here goes that first weld. Really not that good, but anyway, let's go ahead and keep going. I'm about to start the second weld. Alright, there goes the second weld. Started out pretty good, was going pretty good, and then it made that white powder stuff at the end and, and that black mark, which I don't really know what that is. But anyway, I'm going to keep on welding this. This thing gets really hot really fast. Okay, so the rest of my arc shots either got messed up or confused and, and mixed up on which was which. But uh, either way, I want to go ahead and, and include this little part of it because here I am doing a really shaky weld. I'm all over the place, shaking like crazy. But the funny thing is, is the weld actually comes out all right in the end. Anyway, I just want to show that real quick. They're coming out all right. I'm leaving small craters. I'm trying to try not to do that, but I'm still a beginner. Anyway, that's enough for the arc shots. Okay, so here's the final product. I want to go ahead and show all the welds, all my mistakes. And turn around this way. I'm pretty sure that just showed you all the welds. The corners, how I tied them in, left some little crater holes, not good. Anyway, so the moral of the story is, go ahead and get you a welder, especially one like this. This is the Prime Weld 225X, $844 if you order it from Prime Weld, and I paid $844 total. It was free shipping, and I did some kind of promotion code where they sent me something for signing up for an account on their website or something like that, but it was $844 total. It got here in about a week, and like I said in some in my other video, I really like this welder. This is this is uh, it doesn't take a genius to learn how to weld. Everybody's scared of aluminum and think it's some kind of mystery metal. It's really not. Anyway, I, I mean, I I actually made a lot of mistakes on this. I kind of scraped it up a lot and this or that, and it's not perfect. But I'm happy that I actually completed the task. I actually went ahead and welded it all up. It's done. It has some pinholes in it. it has it has a lot of mistakes, but it's done. And one more thing, I'll probably make a part two video of me polishing this up and maybe turn it into a, a dice or something. Either way, if you found this video helpful, entertaining, uh, please like and subscribe. The end.